Welcome back to Practicing Hydroponics. As you can see, we finally have our fogging machine installed. Its purpose is to add humidity to the grow room. We have a Nutramist fogger, as you can see here on the floor. The fogging machine actually gets its source of water from our first reservoir, which we talked about in our other grow video on the actual grow room itself and the equipment contained herein. As you can see, we have a spigot down at the bottom of that reservoir. It has a line coming out of it that eventually feeds over to that fogging machine. There's a float valve in that black box that keeps the water at a predetermined level so the ultrasonic fogger device in that uh, black box can produce the uh, change the uh, water into a very fine mist. The hose for the fog uh, actually uh, comes out here went into the center of the grow room and eventually travels over to where the uh, the plants are. As you can see we finally also have our power grower set up. The seedlings that uh, we had uh, in germination from grow 2 were transferred over to the Aeroflow. We have parsley, arugula, butter crunch, romaine lettuce, yellow peppers, leeks and fennel that were transferred over. We still have a butter crunch and radicchio lettuce uh, plant that remained in the Aeroflow and the cherry tomatoes, Roma tomatoes and some of the seedlings from Grow 2 were transferred into the power growers. We have leeks and fennel also uh, in the power grower since they are a bulbous type of uh, a vegetable. We took the um, rock wool cubes that the seeds germinated in and set them directly into the power grower with STG hail as a uh, bedding medium. All of the tomato plants were pruned of uh, excessive suckers on the, the main stems. We also transferred over our basil plants from the Aeroflow just because I was running out of rails. I have space for one more rail uh, to add into the Aeroflow. As you can see we now have five that, uh, that have uh, been used and we have two spots on this uh, rail here that have not been used plus six more on the rail that we have left in the bottom. In addition to the uh, fogging device uh, we added to the grow room, another circulation fan which we keep on all of the time. And we also added a Hume 1 cap controller uh, for the ultra ultrasonic fogging device uh, to control the humidity levels because our other controller only activated it based on uh, a dehumidification cycle. We also have uh, upped the nutrient levels for these uh, plants that we transferred into the power grower. As you can see also we have our second light now activated. It's also a high, pr um, high intensity discharge light currently using a metal halide bulb over the tomato, basil, fennel and leek plants that are uh, in the power grower at this time. I have one power grower unit that uh, has not been planted, that is the standalone unit that you see here on the floor. Uh, these other devices, uh, the, the seven units that are connected to the reservoir uh, act in unison. This isolated unit here that has not been planted is a standalone unit and we're thinking about doing an LED light test with uh, either red pepper or some other plant uh, in that eventually. As you can see at our seed germination station there are very few rock wool cubes left. Uh, mainly the ones here on the left are the red peppers which have been very slow to germinate. There are uh, a couple of cubes left of the yellow peppers and we have a couple of lonely parsley plants that just we had so much parsley that we moved over into the Aeroflow. They, uh, they just didn't make it due to uh, room constraints.
That's it for uh, today. Hope you enjoyed our third video of practicing hydroponics.